Again. Government knows that when these motherfuckers hit 100%, there is no peace. It's war, chaos, and destruction. They understand and know this. So what they're trying to do is get the masses to take the job, get the masses to uh, fall victim to the system and not awaken to who they are before it's too late because they know once the carbon beings of this planet, the indigenous, the motherfuckers who really own and protect this realm, the true rulers, it's over. They know when we hit 100%, because it's not all peace. She's the microcosm of the macrocosm. We create worlds. Why you think that they are suppressing the divine feminine? Because we hold the key. Dark energy. Enter you in space. We were there, Jean, following that force. Why? Because it's the spark that gave life to the universe and the flame that consumed my world. Welcome back to the coolest channel on YouTube, man. I'm about to drop a banger on y'all, man. Look, make sure y'all watch this video all the way through. Don't miss a thing. It has a lot of important things in this video, but make sure you always go out here doing your own research. Don't believe anything you see on these videos. Go out here and seek this information for yourself. But look, we're going to have a good time. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Let's get this to 20,000 likes. Share with your friends and family. If you aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because 40% of the people that watch this channel aren't even subscribed you know what i'm saying y'all tripping but look hey let's get into this video y'all i appreciate everybody for tuning in just know if you're going through a hard time we're going through this thing called life together you never in it by yourself man this is a channel for you to speak your mind you know what i'm saying this is for you can speak your mind on all the weird things all the good things the bad things the ugly you know what i'm saying this is a discussion for like-minded people that you don't get to unload all this stuff onto your friends and stuff in the, on a daily because they don't understand what the hell we talking about but look this is what we do it at right here man uh let's get into this video without further ado so guys they seem to have our collective a little distracted once again with this shit going on in miami uh while this was taking place there was something major going on in the background jp morgan literally just declared that they'll be filing for bankruptcy january the 23rd which is in two weeks time may i repeat the biggest banker in the world jp morgan has literally just declared that they'll be filing for bankruptcy on January the 23rd. So Great. while everyone was distracted by this uh, teenage fight that 80 cop cars needed to be uh, called to, that you then thought that the distraction from that was the aliens at the mall, which was actually Project Bluebeam. Man, you guys know all this is coming. Then I also seen another post that uh, they typed that it was a portal and they typed in reverse coordinates and the reverse coordinates located back to Antarctica. Man, come on guys, we're smarter than this. You can see through all this shit, come on guys. So, uh, yeah, JP Morgan filing for bankruptcy. They're only filing for bankruptcy from the fiat system that we're currently operating in, guys. Uh, so what do you reckon is going to happen with the rest of the banks in the world? They're all going to follow suit. And after the banks go, then the stocks go. It's all going to go together, man. This is going to make 2008 look like child's play, guys. This is a complete and utter collapse. And they're going to be transferring all this into the digital system um, with the CBDCs and all this kind of thing. Uh, fear not, guys, because if you can't beat them, you join them. We're going to beat them at their own game, guys. And that's what we're here to do. So when, when all this stuff takes place and it comes up in your feeds and all this kind of thing, like the Cat Williams and all that kind of thing, just take a step back. Take a step back and just say, well, what else are they, what else, what, what, what else is going on in the, in the background, on the sidelines? Where, where else do I need to take a look? Um, I also uh, send a leak leaked uh, information about the Ripple lawsuit hearing uh, being uh, complete. That's it, it's finally over. Um, and I've seen this post at 113 and anybody that knows that's been following XRP Ripple for quite some time, they know that how significant the number 113 is. So I feel that was a, a code, a, a coded, divinely guided message to me um, that the Ripple lawsuit's over and we're just waiting. Um, also had another download April. I don't like to talk dates because they come and go all the time. But April, April has been absolutely everywhere in my reality, guys. Uh, we've got this shit so make sure you've got all your ducks in a row if you've got money in the bank man get it the fuck out let's get it into gold silver all your commodities your phys physical tangible assets guys all your iso tokens look up iso 20022 compliant coins guys that's where you want to be your money is not safe in the bank guys we've got this shit i'll keep you in the loop anyway much love guys think about it though like your money where's where look at the big the, the big dogs 
where the, the big money is at, where is it moving to? We have to pay attention to that. Don't be stuck into thinking that things is always going to be okay. We see the biggest of them, the biggest banks going out, right? So I would say diversify. I'm not, this is not financial advice, but diversify where you have your money sitting at and make sure that, you know, for you and your family, bro, like you got to solidify your future, you know? So just be a little bit smarter about how you do it. Just don't stack all your money in one place. I don't have one type of currency, you know? Get some gold. Get gold, y'all. Gold. Эти элиты думают не о том, как улучшить жизнь своих граждан в западных странах. Они одержимы своими Bitcoin and shit like that. корыстными интересами и сверхприбылями. Именно они за последние годы собственными руками разогнали спираль мировой инфляции. Своими действиями привели к росту глобальной бедности и усилению неравенства. К новым потокам беженцев во всем мире. И возникает вопрос. Кто теперь ответит за миллионы голодных okay. смертей в беднейших странах мира из-за растущего дефицита продовольствия? First ever attempt to make a commercial landing on the moon has hit problems soon after its launch from Florida's Cape Canaveral. The Vulcan rocket successfully made it into space, but the team behind it now says there's an anomaly. Our science correspondent Martin Stew is here. Anomaly. This is an anxious moment, isn't it? It certainly is. It's a big moment as well, because this is the first time, believe it or not, for 51 years since Apollo 17 that the U.S. has tried to do a controlled landing on the moon. And as you said, the first time ever that a private company has tried to do it. And it did start brilliantly. The launch this morning of Vulcan Central rocket from Florida was flawless. So on board, equipment to help NASA monitor radiation and look for water, things which are vital for future missions to take astronauts back to the moon for longer stays. But also on board were privately funded ventures, including Mexican robots and rather bizarrely DNA in ashes from dead people, including former presidents and the creator of Star Trek. But Mary, as any trekker will tell you, not everything in space goes to plan. And this afternoon it was announced there was that anomaly. First of all, we were told that the solar panels hadn't aligned. They weren't pointing towards the sun. There wasn't going to be enough power to propel the craft towards the sun. Then we heard the battery was nearly flat, but they remotely did what they called an improvised maneuver. Then the comms went out. They didn't know if it worked or not. The comms came back up. The battery was recharging, but it's not great news. In the last half an hour, we've heard there was a critical loss of propellant, and now they're looking for alternative mission profiles. It doesn't look that it's going to be a landing anytime soon. What else? What else? You feel me? Like, look, that's because they know we can't go to the moon. But look, why? <laughs> You see, they said they were sending president's DNA, right? You know, you, we already we already talked about this before. The, the the presidents are from a certain bloodline. They're from a certain bloodline. Why are they sending that out, quote unquote, to like outer space or to the moon or something? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. But we building here. Pay attention. Did the government fake the Apollo moon landings to assert dominance huh. in the space race? Uh, no, to make money, actually, mostly to make money. But yes, it actually absolutely was false. The amount of money that NASA has been able to to uh, bleed out of the government, actually out of your pockets because of taxation and things like that has been extraordinary. And of course, it's just funded the cabal. So NASA is a, is a cabal entity and pretty much almost everything that they have represented to people has been false to encourage, of course, uh, to justify, of course, their extraordinary hoarding of money. People would say spending of money, but it's actually been a hoarding of money. Um, and so they have to keep up the facade and they have to artificiate all kinds of things that look like they're doing spectacular things. So people will just be like, oh, yes, we are so happy that you are taking more money from us because we are really <laughs> doing some fantastic things. <laughs> Breaking news coming out as the U.S. has just attacked this coming out today. And we had heard warnings that this was the final warning from the United States and 13 other nations. And it looks good. Looks like they made good on that warning as we've received word articles coming out left and right that today, Thursday, January 11, 2024, they have just attacked. Now, here's a headline coming out that says U.S. Britain carry out strikes against Houthis in Yemen, officials say. In addition to that, U.S. and U.K., carry out strikes against Iran-backed Houthis in Yemen. They're saying this is a massive attack, uh, unlike what we have seen so far in response to the United States. And they're saying that those that wanted to see a more aggressive approach 
Well, they're getting it. This is pretty intense, and they're wondering what is going to be the response back. Have things just intensified with the U.S. in the Middle East? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are we going to be seeing them respond back very aggressively? Is the United States about to enter into war with Iran? If you think so, let me know your thoughts. Put a one in the comments. If you think, no, we can stave off war with the United States entering into a conflict, put a two. But this could be this next step for the United States entering into war. Activity is contrary to international law. Uh, it's another example of Iranian malign activity threatening security and stability in the region. And we call on Iran to uh, release the, the tanker and the crew immediately. I would love to leave behind right-wing fundamentalists and Christian nationalists who use Jesus, whose birth we celebrate, as a prop while legislating and fighting against his actual teachings. There's a lot of... I'm telling you, look, before he go into this, look, that's what I be talking about in my videos. It's not that, oh, I don't, you don't believe in the Bible, all this other stuff. No, it's the misuse of all of this information. These people are such big hypocrites. And I'm not talking about some of the people that abide by it like they should if they agree with it, right? It's certain people, like I say, I say a majority of them use this information and they 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 take things out of it that they want to hear and they they mix and match based on how they feel so they, they they're going against everything that it says in the book right but then you like i don't get it like i ain't got no more words for it it's just fucking stupid right it's just dumb i, I can't even talk about it no more it's just dumb I right, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments down below yeah and and some of y'all look if you're religious and you're in the church and stuff, I know most of y'all going to agree with this because you, you're in church with these, these same people, right? Let me know in the comments down below. You don't have to disclose who you are. I don't want you getting kicked out of your congregation or nothing. But. Right wing brothers and sisters in this country who identify as Christian and they care about the manger and the crucifix and they ignore the 30 years of teaching. 33. Well, actually three years of teaching he did okay. in between. Uh, Jesus is um, not an ally of the Republican Party. There is no overlap between Jesus and the policies of Donald Trump. In South Carolina, <laughs> they tried to have a bill this year calling for the death penalty for abortion. We're so pro-life, we'll kill you. That's where we're at right now. That's Stephen Wright. Sing, I would kill for a Nobel Peace Prize. Yeah. Sing the That's crazy. Enraged these right-wing Christians so much because he acted like Jesus in blessing gay unions. Yep. Jesus is not anti-immigrant. He commands people to welcome the stranger. He never mentions abortion. The Bible never condemns abortion. We've had two generations of Christians in this country who have been groomed to believe criminalizing abortion is something to do with what Jesus talked about. Christ was a peaceful, radical, nonviolent revolutionary, never mentioned gay people. He commanded you to pay your taxes, to welcome the stranger. Individuals and nations must care for the poor and sick in Matthew 25. He who lives by the sword must die by the sword, Luke 22. There's a reason why these right-wingers never try to put the Sermon on the Mount on walls in classrooms. It's because somebody read the Bible. Wow, yeah. 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 before Jesus' birthday, you're delivering. Listen, I'm the child of an ex-nun and an ex-Franciscan. Oh, wow. And if you are... If you want to criminalize abortion and put people in jail because you're so Christian mm -hmm. when Jesus never mentioned abortion, but you support the death penalty, which Christ actually opposed, the rest of us... A lot of men wrote the books, well, you know? But if you support those things, then the rest of us aren't obliged to take your claims of Christian piety seriously anymore. And the media is to blame because the media loves a bad guy and has made the Falwells and the Robertsons pass for what Christianity is for a generation. It's time to take the Bible back from the hypocrites and thugs. Or Right, from the hypocrites and the thugs. That's exactly what they are. But at the same time, you got to think about it, though. You know, uh, I don't support either one because either side, because they're it's like the yin and yang for them. You know, like they, they're in it together. They just do different things, but the same thing at the same time. If you get what I'm saying, let's go. We build it. I'm going to translate. They said, we don't give a fuck. Pull up then. That's what they said. Pull up. We will all the shit. Meanwhile, people in the United States like, oh, you know, we're going to leave the country. Shut up. I just ignore all the signs. I should take care of myself. I probably should have 
pause it if y'all need to read the it. latest predictions from the simpsons for 2024 are genuinely eerie this one is absolutely disturbing in season 24 episode 9 homer simpson is preparing a bunker fully stocked with provisions for his family anticipating something dreadful on the horizon shortly after a solar superstorm strikes springfield a silent, invisible tempest sweeping through the town, causing severe consequences. This catastrophic event leads to a complete shutdown. No internet, no electricity, everything comes to a standstill. A solar superstorm could wipe out the internet for weeks or even months or even forever. The portrayal of a solar superstorm in the episode aligns with the potential real-world impact such an event could have. Interestingly, NASA has recently made a shocking discovery a massive hole in the sun called the Coronal Hole. This hole, large enough to engulf 60 Earth-sized planets, is currently releasing solar storms at a staggering speed of 1.8 million miles per hour and could be right. headed to Earth fast. The last time the Earth experienced such a storm was in 1859. It was known as the Carrington Event. The 2024 solar storm is predicted to be 60 times more powerful than the 1859 solar storm, possibly the strongest ever recorded in history. Such solar storms can have catastrophic effects on Earth, affecting satellite power grids, GPS, and potentially wiping out hard drives and the entire internet permanently. Might take decades for us to recover. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, positive. The sun need to. is the source of electricity and your cells need to be charged up. That's why you have something called a cell phone. And then you have 150 cells that make up your body. So you have a cell phone and then you have cells in your body. And then when you look at a battery, have you ever seen the name of a battery? It's called an alkaline battery that's made of what? Cells. cells. If a cell dies in the battery, the battery won't start the car. Absolutely. If cells die in your body and your body won't regenerate those cells, you die. If your cell phone die, what you got to do? You have to plug it into the source for it can be recharged again, for it can do its daily functioning. Wow. The, the sun is so amazing because if, if it wasn't for the sun, we wouldn't be here. The sun have, have literally manifested all things into physical form. The right. sun is the first thing that created all matter. And it does it through something called terahertz. And these terahertz is basically wavelengths. And when the wavelengths are very, very far apart, that's where you get the infrared from. Then once it, once it get tighter and tighter and it speeds up and the terahertz get higher, that's where you start looking at the rainbow and it goes through these different color spectrums, right? So your body is made of melanin or what they call melanin, right? And melanin is a, a super superconductor type of material not only that it's a polymer meaning it buffers out acids it causes the body to and for people that you know got questions about different races and stuff everybody has melanin but we have different types of melanin and they do similar but different things at different levels that's it y'all detoxify and it also holds on to magnetic energy and electrical energy at that so you have melanin in your body then you have something called chromophores and what chromophores is if you look inside of a cell because the body is made of 150 trillion cells inside of the cells you have something called a six carbon based ring or what they call benzene rings these are chromophores then you have amino acids so the body is made of minerals the body is made of melanin the body is made of carbon the body is made of amino acids all in water a bunch of water and every function in your body require water so all of these different things when you look them up is something called chromophores and if you look at what a chromophore is it's literally an element that holds sunlight so you have to ask yourself if the body is made of 150 trillion cells and out of 150 trillion cells all 150 trillion cells have chromophores carbons in them to hold sunlight then what is the purpose of your body then it's to hold the sunlight and the information so then when you start looking at what it's for every biological process in your body requires sunlight every last one of them. your blood will not flow without these chromophores getting sunlight 
So sunlight hits the blood. When sunlight hits the blood, the electrical magnetic frequency folds proteins. When the, protein, when the proteins is fold, it gets a signal and it tells the protein what to do. Whether it's going to go through something called protein synthesis, whether it's going to go through uh, protein mitosis and break down and then go through apoptosis and then leave out through through your urine or through your, your poop by defecation. Your awakening and sleep patterns, the way you wake up and go to sleep. When you wake up, the reason why you wake up is because the sunlight, this infrared uh, light hit the retinas of your eyes and, and, it, and it actually it actually go through something called melanopsis the melaninopsis or the melanopsis wake you up because you just had that blue ra that blue radioactive sunlight in you now as soon as you get up guess what the sunlight do you start producing and releasing serotonin serotonin is what makes you serious it brings on your focus it makes your stomach growl it makes you hungry you even your your sex is built off of serotonin. How much serotonin and testosterone you have? That's what makes you want to reproduce and repopulate. This is serotonin. Serotonin is made during the night and released during the morning or during the rising. Melatonin is actually made during the day and secreted in your bloodstream during the night. But all of this is based off of the sun. sun. So you can't get any type of hunger pains without the sun. You can't break down your food and digest your food without the sun. You can't make your blood flow or fold proteins without the sun not only that the sun actually does so you have something called the mitochondria organelle in your cells so me and you sitting up here talking and breathing right now because we're going through a process called cellular respiration have you ever heard of that no sir so so when you look at cellular respiration it's just a five-step series where glucose is actually turned into carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is actually turned into water and water in your cells is used as fuel to give you vitality power and just the will to live yo this man Yaki be speaking, bruh. And, 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 and it reminds me when I used to watch a lot of battle rap and shit like that. You feel me? Like, bruh, I used to watch a lot of Math Hoffa, fucking uh, DNA, Charlie Clips, you know, Arsenal, all of them. You feel me? Have y'all watched uh, battle rap? Look, I used to be a big fan, you know. Uh, but it just, it gives it gets me in that state where I'm just like, damn, bars. You feel me? Like, damn, that's that's a, that's brilliant you feel me but he makes it easy for us to digest but yo we still building y'all so pay attention you know and this is why they're blocking the sun and this is going to transition into the things that they're spraying into the skies that we're all inhaling and ingesting this is data, smart dust making its way to us Anytime soon, just look at it. Apparently, it can bypass the body's immune system without the, uh, the immune system know that it's even there. Crazy. Have a listen to this, guys. Dust and the new technology may soon make it possible to keep track of anything, anywhere, including you. Smart dust originated with DARPA back in the 90s. This powder-sized chip is something called the Mu chip from Hitachi. It's the smallest commercially available RFID system in the world. You can literally scatter this stuff like dust or embed it into a sheet of paper. It doesn't require a battery. Flex of computing power settling on your skin, ingested, monitoring you inside and out. The nanoparticles are designed to go under the radar of the immune system. And so they are undetected in the body. We have computing everywhere, we have connectivity everywhere, we have infrastructure that can compute those with new capabilities like AI. If you have enough data and you have enough computing power, you can understand people better than they understand themselves and then you can manipulate them in ways which were previously impossible. Transhumanism is a growing movement that aims to use technology to modify our bodies, sometimes in radical ways to make them stronger, faster, and better. Got tracking? All right, we building. Watch this. This is the snow that I melted today. And then I put a big magnet on the outside of this glass. And I'm just rolling the magnet around the glass. It 
that's what I'm doing. See? Did y'all know they were taking these videos off the internet? Magnet. Wonder why. Yes. That's pretty creepy. Anyone guess why we have that in our water? Let's see, and let's see what we could do over here. Oh, nice. That's great. Hmm. Very weird. All right. That's all of that. Be safe. gave them permission like how dare you Time. it profits now the knell of the death bell for it means that if our planet can take in new energy and if the electromagnetic field or frequency barrier barrier can be altered so that higher frequencies can come in and that pineal gland kicks in then you will be once again in tune with your planet and mankind having no soul, having only the ability to report to the Lord God Master, will go crazy and begin to dysfunction and do crazy things. Human, who is part of both, will begin to question and try to follow its higher source, and the whole thing will lead to tremendous wars or tremendous conflagrations. The war will last no time if the sons of God can awaken to who they are. Because once they get in tune with the planetary head, the planet will do whatever they as a unit ask for. That is what some of the Yoruba people understood, what the magicians understand, and in a small way, try once more to get in frequency with the slower heavens just above where they live, or on their continent, or the elemental king can obey. It was meant that the sons of God, being of the seed of angels, didn't have to even do that. They could summon, they could call forth, they could put aside. But before any of that could be done, they had to first come into the consciousness and frequency of who they were. Again, I kind of repeat what I said when I was here before. This summer, you will hear, and starting this summer, probably for the next three years, about the sunspot activity being on the increase. You'll begin to hear more again about solar activity, prominences, all types of energy from the sun that will be very harmful. You'll hear about ultraviolet light, burning tissue, and melanomas and carcinomas affecting the blood and the skin of people on Earth. Once again, this is an if you can't read people, this is in 1988. 1988, by the demographics of my channel, most of us was born during this time. So this is a very long, well, very long time ago. That's crazy. That's crazy, I'm sorry. <laughs> but look, check me out though. We're currently hearing about that now in these times. You know, even when my school teachers was teaching us about this. He was saying that he ain't gonna have to deal with it because this, he's gonna be gone and passed during this time. He was in like in his fifties at the time. So, but it's it's just crazy that these things are happening currently right now. What a time to be alive, people! What a time to be alive, man! Let me know it in the comments down below. If if y'all if y'all if y'all if y'all comprehending this right now, you know, the times that they were speaking about a long time ago are happening today. We're living in those current times. All the, the look at the Bibles and stuff like that. All the things they spoke about is happening currently. All the other channels that try to copy what I do or whatever is cool, but they, they they can't get in depth like this because they're doing these videos and I have to be transparent. It's some people that's doing it for the right reasons, but most of them are doing it just because they see my video content getting hella views. And now you see them trying to do it. Now some of them are trying to make their videos make a little bit more sense, but it's still not adding up. But you can get this shit right here. You feel me? For the sons of God who have an active pineal, that will be a day of blessing, for it will not affect you. You will not be burned. You will simply darken and the melanin growing. It's almost like a vicious cycle to make you more and more powerful. As they get cancers of the skin and glands, you will get glands beginning to awaken and throwing out. 
the frequencies that are not good, and reconnecting the DNA molecules that were separated. For at one time, certain bloodlines gonna get affected differently, and we know who they are. And I'm not just talking. I'm not talking about white people. So we're talking certain people that aren't able to hold certain frequencies and it simply is what it is the average white person is that's quote unquote white here y'all not even white first of all but you're not from certain bloodlines and not me personally i don't think that it's gonna be certain people are gonna be affected like that it's not everybody but it's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers y'all about skin it's, melon it's currently already happening the people that inhabit these hot areas are catching in cancers at a super super high rates it's just off the scales. It's crazy. Like, why would you want to live there? It's not the environment you need to be in. And then we have more of that protects you from the ultraviolet rays of the sun. What I'm saying is you eat the sun. Sun shines on your skin. Some cholesterol picks it up, takes it to the liver and converts it to vitamin D2. You actually eat the sun. The more sun you absorb, the more stronger your bones are. The less sun you absorb, the more weak your bones are. You got to take vitamin D if you live in this climate. You're not getting enough sun. You need vitamin D. You're not getting enough sun. You got to have at least two hours of sunlight to stimulate the melanin. Allows protection from extreme hot and cold temperatures. That's what melanin does. Eskimos are not white people. Eskimos are colored people. Causing you to have the least amount of hair on your body than any other race. Y'all see that family? And I'm in California, block. mind you. It looks like some out of movie. This is what this is what they trying to block, family. You understand that? Make sure you go. And the government knows this. The government knows. That when these motherfuckers hit 100%, there is no peace. It's war, chaos, and destruction. They understand and know this. So what they're trying to do is get the masses to take the job, get the masses to um, fall victim to the system and not awaken to who they are before it's too late. Because they know once the carbon beings of this planet, the indigenous, the motherfuckers who really own and protect this realm, the true rulers, it's over. They know when we hit 100%, cuz it's not all peace. Because let me tell you something, when you hit 100% and you act 100% of your, activate 100% of your DNA, do you realize all your memory gonna come back? You gonna remember all the shit that these motherfuckers have done to you for eons. Re think about that. Remember, you already know what these people have done to you. But guess what? When you came here through the womb portal, your memory was wiped. But guess what? Your memory is going to come back. All your DNA, all your talents, gifts, skills, uh, superpower abilities, whatever you want to call it, is going to come back online. Also, your memory. Look, you thought this human experience was something, however old you, however old you are. I'm about to explain to you why the sun is so important to us and how we have an extreme connection with it. If I told you that you had the same exact elements in your body that the sun has in it, right? That big, bright ball of fire that they tell us, right? That's alive, but we don't get to it. It's so bright. And what makes up the sun is so big, you can't get rid of it. You have those, you have that same power, right? You got those same elements inside your body. Let me show you. All right, now look, these are the elements that is made up of the sun, right? I crossed out oxygen because that is a lie. They say we're supposed to be breathing in oxygen, but that is false. Oxygen is poison to us, okay? Oxygen is why we are this color. This is not our natural color, why we're black or brown. Brown is not our natural skin color, right? So hydrogen, hydrogen, helium, carbon, neon, nitrogen, magnesium, iron, and silicon. That's all made up of the sun. As you can see, it's mainly made up of hydrogen and helium. But guess what? You have those same exact things in your body, bro. Every every last thing. Don't believe me? Let me show you. Let's go to Google real quick. All right, we're on Google, right? Now, notice how Google tells you the truth, but they put a little lie in there as well. The four most abundant, abundant elements in our human body, hydrogen, oxygen. See how they throw a lie. Oxygen is the lie right there, y'all. We're not supposed to be breathing that oxygen. 
and we're not supposed to be uh having oxygen in our body the sun is not composed with no damn oxygen oxygen is what's killing us bro it's, it hurts us it's poison to our That's body why with this color but listen hydrogen oxygen we call we call that out hydrogen carbon and nitrogen accounts for more than 99 percent of the atoms inside of you but that's those are the same exact elements in the sun though right so when i when i'm constantly saying getting the sun getting the sun sun gaze meditating the sun we have an extreme connection with the sun bro we do bro you need to understand when we look at the sun we're looking at the chromosphere it's a big ass chromosphere bro but guess what we have chromosomes inside us right now, what is the definition of a chromosome? The definition of a chromosome is a DNA molecule that makes up the genetics of you, right? Chromosome is just contains the DNA molecules that make up your genetics, bro. But guess what? The chromosphere, what is the chromosphere? What is the function of a chromosphere in the sun? It, it grabs the heat from the inner core, the inside, and brings it to the outside, right? That's why the chromosphere is so bright and so, you know, when you look at it, you can't really use squinting and shit, right? So notice how it starts from the inside, right? From the core. Just like your chromosomes. It's the genetics. It's what makes you you. So we have an extreme deep connection with the sun, bro. So y'all better get out here, get in this sun, bro. Start meditating with the sun and absorb the energy. You're going to start seeing your skin start to crystallize, start shining different, start glowing different, bro. These are our powers, bro. They never wanted us to notice, man. Peace and love. Hey, we building. Y'all make sure y'all pay attention to this next section right here. It's about to go up. It's about to come full circle for y'all. But look, let me know in the comments down below. I've noticed for myself too, man, go plant your feet in the grass, go outside, and enjoy that. It's just relax and enjoy the environment, yo. It's beautiful. But you actually start to see your skin crystallize for sure. You start to see it shine like little twinkly like glitter, diamonds, you know. We're changing. The sun is changing. Look it up, y'all. Look it up and see what the sun is actually doing to your DNA, to your genetics. This man's name used to have the colonizers' bones rattling. He was the highest-ranking Morma leader who hadn't been killed or captured by the time we were granted independence. General Musamwariyama. Pay attention to his mannerisms. Say his name. Hey, look, all right, when y'all watch him, though, the one with the dreads on the right, right? Watch him. Watch his demeanor and his facial expressions and stuff. It's not normal. This is, a, this is what you call an avatar. One of the many bodies that these people inhabit. It's, it's crazy. Get him. Nigga, if I, I I couldn't have a conversation with somebody like that, like you feel me? Like that shit throw me off, bro. He he'd probably like pull out some technology, blow my ass away. <laughs> I would not be the ambassador of nothing talking to nobody like in, in, in this realm right here. <laughs> Blow my ass away. Look at him. get the stick from i think that's a wand or something that he gonna cast a spell on your ass
We building. Watch this. Peace to all the divine primordial deities. This movie X Men Days of Future Past, which means the past will become the future. In this portrait in the movie, you see it is a woman that has a flag in her hand Matriarch. and she has some type of shotgun in her hand. As you can see, she is surrounded by the masculine and she is outnumbered, but she is still victorious. As you can see, the masculine is at war with the divine feminine and at the end, she wins. The masculine is at war with the divine feminine and this system is a patriarchal system that is bent out on suppressing the divine feminine. Listen to this. You'll need a new weapon for this war. I call them sentinels. <laughs> Named after the ancient guardians that stood at the gates of the citadel. These are machines. They have the aeronautic capabilities of a Harrier jet. Armed with guns that can fire off more than 2,000 rounds per minute of thermoceramic ammunition. But size, power, speed, you could find that at Lockheed or Boeing. No. What makes the Sentinel so special is the ability to target the mutant X gene. The war is against the X chromosome, which is the divine feminine. Unless it's identified the target. With this weapon, there will be no human collateral damage. If I turn it on, the system couldn't even activate in here. Unless. I don't. There has to be some kind of mistake. My machines don't make mistakes. I don't. What are you? I assure you that. I. No, don't you. Her powers was out of this world. She was able to shape shift into whoever yeah, yeah. and use their powers. She represents the divine feminine. Not to stir up the battle of the sexes, but the X chromosome females have two of them. Not just two, but we also possess the Y chromosome. Why? It's because the divine feminine was here first. And we is what gave birth to the Y chromosome. And to piggyback off of that, you remember when we were talking about the, the solar eclipses and stuff like that? What is it forming over the United States of X? X marks the spot. Maybe the X gene being activated here from the ancient people. Mm. It says, while the male have one, is five times larger than the Y chromosome and has 10 times the number of genes. That means it carries more traits and diseases. The divine feminine is the superwoman. She is the creator of all. She is the microcosm of the macrocosm. We create worlds. Why you think that they are suppressing the divine feminine? Because we hold the key. Listen to this conversation. Put that piece of Jesus screen by what Jim has into your throat. How did you find me? You taught me well. It's been a long time since we're this close. I missed you. She tried to kill me. So the rest of us could live. Remember, she's the divine feminine. What do you mean? We received a message from the future. Don't lie to me. I never have, and I never will. Humans use your blood, your genes, to create a weapon that wipes us all out. I was only doing what I thought necessary to secure our future. So what's to stop me from killing you right now and securing my future? Remember, the woman holds the key to the entire universe. We primordial deities do not have DNA. We have DEA. They're creating a weapon, and now they have what they need to take it further. We have to strike now. Out of her DEA, they created weapons to go against the primordial deities, which what they are calling them in here, mutants. Y'all all remember gene, which gene means genes, genetics, the genesis, 
the beginning. She represents, Jean represented the Black Madonna, which is the sacred divine feminine. She was so powerful. Couldn't no one get close to her. The only one that can get close to her was Wolverine. And the only reason why is because he had nanotechnology in him and he was able to heal fast because his skin was able to regenerate. The divine feminine is the phoenix energy. That patriarchal mindset and system is over with because the age of Aquarius is the return of the black Madonna. The X-Man should have been the X-Woman. This is a clip from the dark phoenix. The dark phoenix is the dark energy and they say that it is an unknown form of energy that affects the universe on the largest scale. As you can see, it is something coming from the cosmos that is connecting with her. Like we just explained about the whole song. Y'all see how this video comes full circle? It's crazy. It's beautiful, man. Y'all smash that like button. You only getting this shit here. Nowhere else. Not really. <laughs> it's crazy. The divine feminine. You see how she is able to absorb this dark energy and it did not kill her even in the movie they were saying i wonder why it didn't kill you because it had chose her the divine feminine this should make you watch the x-men completely different right <laughs> Listen to what she finna get ready to say. And it was not an accident. It was drawn to you. What was a pure and unimaginably powerful cosmic force. Dark energy. It did not enter you in space. You were there, Jean, following that force. Why? Because it's the spark that gave life to the universe. And the flame that consumed my world. She said she would turn water to life. The water is celestial and it is spiritual. As above, so it is below. Space is water and the ocean is the outer space. We come from the waters of noon, which is the celestial water. That dark energy, which is the dark phoenix, is going to come from the celestial waters, which is your outer space. The X marks the spot. In this series, the powers... All of the Divine Feminine receive their powers first. The Divine Feminine has been suppressed and this holds truth and the energies will be attracted to those who needs it the most. As she is mother and with this energy, she's going to be able to create. She is the creator. The Divine Feminine is the feminine aspect of the divine power that connects and binds the earth together. The origin of chaos and order and feminine and masculine. The feminine is chaos and order is masculine. Chaos, not a disorder, but the origin of order. The masculine assists, and the masculine can only maintain what we create. But the world has so far been functioning on raw, directionless, masculine energy, which has resulted in chaos in the universe. To create and restore balance. And it needs the creator to create. Now, do you see why? It is a war against the sacred and divine feminine. The age of Aquarius is the return of the dark phoenix. You got to think, man, like it is like, uh, like I, 
and, and we're meant to protect it masculine energy like we're meant to protect as well but one thing is you can you can see that you know they're trying to even change women's what, what, what women are called they're trying to call you niggas birthing people birthing people really like that shit is so disrespectful they try to tell you that you can't do certain things with your body and this is coming from males most males are in politics right but then they're trying to tell women that, oh, you can't take this uh, uh, pill. You can't do this. You can't have birth control, whatever. We shouldn't be speaking about w- what women can do with, with their damn bodies. That shit's crazy as hell. But look, let's, let's continue. Y'all see how this shit coming full circle? Look, <laughs> it's crazy. We building. Watch this. We ain't done. The Grand Awakening. Involving surviving children continue to pour in from across the country. Panic calls to 911. Describe cars moving on their own accord. If you notice any bizarre behavior, your children are the children of those around you. Please report immediately to the CDC. Why? Why would you do that? If you know, you know. You survived the sickness, but you're not the same. Let me know if y'all like shit like this happen. Y'all snitching? Like, bro, y'all. Look. Snitches get stitches in this point right here. And (laughs) And until you are, there's no going home. All kids are given a color assignment that corresponds to their disorder. On the bottom here are greens, basic enhanced intelligence. Blues have telekinetic abilities. Golds can manipulate Me and you. Up here, past this line, are the most dangerous. Reds and oranges, but they are very rare. Mm. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Are you very good at math and puzzles? Yeah. Because that means you're most likely in green territory. That's not so terrible. Gamma territory. You know that green represents the gamma, right? Okay, we can fix this. Get back here. Take this space and for entertainment purposes only. Educational purposes only. I'm green. Mm, she green, gamma. I'm one of the smart ones. She smart. Yes. Star C. Ooh, we. Y'all. Y'all better leave a comment on this one. Come on, come on, get trolling there. Come on, leave them comments. This video is for entertainment purposes only. This video is for educational purposes only. It's scripted and fake TikTok. Queen is definitely GMO. <laughs> the genome sequence, which has given us our own DNA codes, is that a little different from what you're talking about right now, or is it the same? When I'm talking about codes that it doesn't have nothing to do with DNA, but it is a little bit deeper into the fabric of who we are, DNA is still not even understood. No. Back in the 90s, Alan and Iona Miller discovered that there are wormholes inside of our DNA. And it's drawing upon information from outside space-time. And then you hear people like Eric Dollard, who's been studying the sun for quite some time, and says that the sun is actually doing the very same thing. It's drawing upon information from outside space-time. So there's some interesting correlation here where the sun can unlock codes within us. The earth can unlock codes within us. But it's mainly when history demands it. And that's what I feel like is coming. History is going to demand brand new gifts for humanity to come out. They got it wrong in the comics. 
They talk about secret evil groups trying to stop the heroes. I don't think we are particularly evil, and we don't choose sides. We try to stop both of you. If there is one of you, the opposite of you appears, it escalates, we step in. There just can't be gods amongst us. It's not fair. It has worked just fine for 10,000 years our way. Take consolation in the fact that you were right about your theory. Be at peace. Did y'all, do you catch it? Do you catch it? They, they're putting that in our face so much. It's not fair for guys to walk amongst us. You get it? Like, do you look at all the movies, everything, the superheroes and stuff like that, man, are like gods. You feel me? Like they can do extreme, extraordinary things, but therefore you always in every one of these movies, guess what we see? Most of them anyway. Guess what we see? We see the government coming after the people with abilities. It, it proves it right here, but it, I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Cool. We're going to keep going, though. We're going to keep going, though. That's, that shit is wild, ain't it, though? What a kawinky thing that this. Yeah, yeah, do you, I seen somebody in the comments was like, oh, um, there's no such thing as a, co as a coincidence. And a lot of people liked it. So I think most of us are on the same page. Not everything is just not a coincidence. You know what I'm saying? It's just not. The reason why the sun... Like, even watch Superman. Superman, they, they got a contingency plan to kill him. Sun and all the planets look round because you can only fathom what your eyes can see. Everyone thinks everything is round. But really, that's all that you can see. When looking through a telescope through with high magnification, this is what stars look like. Even the NASA lies, they still show the same. All right, now let's look back at the eye. We'll just start it off in layers. If you look at it sideways, this is everything. Sclera. Latin origin, meaning hard or to dry up or parch. Okay, and this is going to be the hard soil, the hard earth, the flat ground, okay? Look back at the eye, right? You see? It's gonna be the hard, okay? Then next we have the iris, okay? You see how it's the color, right? Now if we look here, iris is, okay, it's either iris eye plant or a rainbow. Rainbow what is a barrier over us of color, which is as you go back to the eye. And you can also remember to bend, turn, and twist whenever I get to the Fibonacci spiral. All right, we all remember the rainbow, right? Which is the dome over us, all right? Now, let's look here at the cornea next, okay? The cornea. Yep, you guessed it. It's the firm, transparent, anterior part, okay? Or the horny web or sheath. A sheath, you guys, okay? The head. Okay, now I said before, get into the Fibonacci spiral now. This is it, but this is the point, right? This is what you the twist and turn, okay? This is what you see. Okay, now I'm sure you're on their conch cells, right? Same Fibonacci spiral with horns, okay? This is the very basic element, the very base root, and the very first synthesis of creation. I'm sure you know fallen angels and how they fell onto earth and what do fallen angels usually have? The devil, which is what? A horned beast? Now, if you know Narmer's palette, which is Egyptian, one of the first tablets found, discovered, here is the Pix creation, okay? Bull, synthesizing human all creation, DNA pattern, okay, with two beasts, horns on the end, horns of all creation, you see? A cornucopia, all right, remember we're on a cornea, consisting of plenty of a goat's horn overflowing with flowers, fruit, and corn. Okay, doesn't that sound like earth? Let's not go too far off. Now let's get back to the pupil, all right? Right here, the black hole, right? The U. Of course, people know it means disciple, okay? But now let's get past to that, okay? Because 
pupillary, all right, but also the center of the eye, but also little boy, little girl, okay? Now, what, what, what would that sense? In saying boy and girl as in all creation, right? The eye of creation. Now, also, if you scroll down, it's also core is one of the etymology history that pupil comes from, all right? And in Greek mythology, this is also called Persephone, Hades' wife, the horned beast wife. And this also means to grow. Y'all remember Persephone, okay? The eye region was also called from the tiny image. One sees of oneself, Persephone, your person. Again, let's not deviate too much, right? Next, we have the lens. Okay, you see that? Now, you saw how it was underneath, correct? Well, of course, they try to cover and conceal and save that. You see again underneath, put it sideways. This is us, all right? The dome, they want to hide underneath, right? What's they try to tell you is this big molten ball of lava. You believe that? All right, now back to the Fibonacci spiral. You see, it's the code for the flower and seed of life. You see the tree of life. You see the tree of life, the tree of life. You are the tree of life. Okay, I hope you're still with me. As above, so below. Just zoom into what you can see, the tree of life. Now you see, this is what people, this is what they want you to believe, that there's something round here. But this is a true diagram for the magnetic field, all right? Again, as above, so below. That just means you can simply zoom in on an atom and it looks like you're zooming out on the universe. Now keep this in mind. Remember what I just showed you, right? They want you to think that somehow a sphere can mimic what a flat object creates, okay? You remember that, the Taurus field? It's simply the North and South Pole, okay? You flip that upside down, and now you have our Earth, the North and South Pole. Now, I don't know for sure what is 100% true, but I know it makes sense. And what they tell us don't make sense. Now, you remember what an eye looks like, okay? Just keep this in mind. Now, this is a real eye. And the eye is important because you can close your eyes and you will not be able to perceive when you open your eyes this is your reality, right? What seems real. You zoom back out. This is our magnetic field, right? The resonance, north and south. Magnets, north and south. This is just how it works on a flat plane. Your eyes are truly just a flat barrier with a firmament over. Now, do you remember that shape? Right here in the center? the exact same shape of the Fibonacci spiral. The exact same shape of the Fibonacci spiral. You see, the Earth functions on code of sequences, right? Mathematically, one plus one equals two because it has to, okay, Fibonacci. And what do we all know? We run on a set of what? In Dinkra codes. It's crazy. Fire was found within her own body structures, DNA, as well as the universe. Okay, it's the basis of all life. As above, so below. Here's a galaxy. The reason why this matters is because if you still question, then you will have a shaky spine. And the spine should be straight and firm because there's only one right, just way to achieve enlightenment, which is truly just understanding you, the light inside of you, enlightenment. Here is the Fibonacci spiral in action. Here is it in action. Now, the reason this matters is because just like us and every single thing living, it has a beginning and end and we need to evolve. So if you have questions, just ask. Like I keep telling you, we need to evolve. A document was declassified by the CIA that may reveal that you have godlike potential. 
Now it's early in the morning, but bear with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and read what they're proposing. Fundamentally, the gateway experience is a training system designed to bring enhanced strength, focus, and coherence to the amplitude and frequency of brainwave output between the left and right hemisphere, so as to alter consciousness moving it outside of the physical sphere, so to ultimately escape even the restrictions of time. So what they're talking about is out-of-body experiences, and what the US government was interested in was how out-of-body experiences could be used in war. So the US military sent several officers over to the Monroe Institute to check its credibility. So what did these officers report back? You tasked me to provide an assessment of the gateway experience in the terms of its mechanics and ultimate practicality. Frankly, sir, that proved to be an extremely involved and difficult business. The physics of altered human consciousness deals with some conceptualizations that are not easily grasped or visualized. Nevertheless, once it's done, I'm confident that their construction and application will stand up to the test of rational critique. It's a pretty interesting read, and some of the experiences that they describe sound like an LSD trip. But does it work? I don't know, and I have to go to work, so let me know what you find out if you research this. Well, we do know that those documents was released a long time ago, and... You know, um, y'all can go look this stuff up yourself, like I always say. But I already did videos on these type of things. But at the same time, you can do astral projection and stuff like that. You can project your mind somewhere else and be somewhere else at the same time. Just like the same thing, what happens when you go to sleep and you have a vivid dream, you know. That's, that's, that's essentially what you're doing. Uh, I had a long hair on my leg that I put off. Like, but yeah, my bad, y'all. But look, anyway. Um, yeah, you can astral project and everything. Just go look those things up yourself. Uh, it gets deep. It gets weird. Uh, you know, like, but but if you practice these things, you'll start to understand. I don't want to give you everything here because, you know, I'm not a person that's going to give you every little thing because I like for people to have free will. And, and if you really want to know these things, you're going to go out and get them. I hate for, through experience, through my experiences in life. It seems like when you give somebody everything, you spoil them, and therefore they're always going to be reliant on you to give them things, force feed them things, without them getting up on their own and getting the information themselves. So that's what I want y'all to do, and let me know what experiences you have with astral projection and everything. Don't say your name or anything in the comments, but you know, let me know your experiences. How good are you at it? Can you actually do it? Do you believe in it? Do you believe the CIA documents that was released on it? Let me know. In this video, this lady speaks about when you're chosen. But you don't want to become a target, but you know. Chosen or when you have a higher vibration than most, how it can affect others. Make sure you watch until the end and let me know what you think in the comments below. A message for the chosen. To those that are chosen, I want you guys to understand that you didn't do anything wrong. A lot of you don't even know that your vibrational frequency is so high that it just bothers other people. It fucks with their demons. It fucks with their lack of understanding, their lack of understanding of themselves and the inner workings of this universe. You walk around here just shining, want to have friends, want to just love everybody, want to see everybody winning, but you got people hating on you. You got people talking shit about you. You got people who misunderstand you and therefore they don't they don't know how to take you. It's because you fucking with their own inner demons. Right. It ain't you and it ain't never been you. Some of us were born here with a high moral standard. And when we violated that moral standard from a very young age, the universe gave us that work real quick. We had instant karma. So when you're walking around now and people are bothered by you, knowing it good and well that you know better. Remember, it's because it is your frequency. It is your vibration that bothers them. It is not you. It is not your fault. It's not your fault that your light shines on their darkness. Light casts shadows on density. Which means if they don't like it, that ain't, that ain't your problem. Right. If they got a problem with you, it's because they got a problem with they self. So be easy on yourself because I'm, I'm, I'm promising you guys this. A lot of us, we don't have a lot of friends. We don't have a lot of people we can just talk to. Our time is coming where we will start syncing up and linking up and tribing together because we get it. We understand. That's why we hear y'all. And it don't take all that humming and drumming and shenanigans and drama. It don't take all that. So just be patient. because the, So just be patient because the day of purification has already come. 
And all of this negative energy that's been swirling in the earth all this time is going to be eradicated. People ain't going to be able to hold that shit together. But that ain't your problem. You keep shining your fucking light. You keep popping your motherfucking shit because that's what you came here to do. I love you all. Peace and power. Ah, man, much love to you. You know what I'm saying? We had to end it on that point right there, man. Look, it's, it's, it's crazy out here for most of us, you know. Um, it's not that we don't have friends. We already have friends that we rock with, you know. And, and, it, and it seems like sometimes some people want to be your friend. And it's in, in, in us, especially empaths, you can tell. You can, you can tell by somebody's energy through experiences in life we can tell we done built up this 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 inner system within us that can detect certain energies because we're starting to really understand who we are understand who we are and we can see when certain people are trying to come into your life for the wrong reasons and they're on a different frequency than you and a lot of the times we ain't, it ain't like we don't just don't like people is that we already know why you're here it's kind of like an oracle I already I already know why you're here you're not here for the right reasons and you know us turning over different leaves in our lives you know what us that choose to progress and go further we become a lot weirder to people that want to still you know uh be on the same frequency of oh this person scored a touchdown but i don't know how to go out here and uh you know i know nothing about putting my feet in the grass and receiving the 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 you know the the frequencies from the earth to balance me out you know to recharge and all these other things they know nothing about life but they could tell you about who cheated on who who beat who up who just got shot you know but they can't tell you about you know something that really matters they can't tell you what a cell is they can't tell you what an atom is they can't tell you the chemicals that's in the water they're still drinking faucet water with calcified pineal glands so when we get on this channel man we have a good time it's hard to communicate with people that's stuck in such a vibration that i honestly at this point in my life i think that they want to be there because if you don't want to be there we've all been at certain levels in our life right we can all agree on that i've been at the bottom pause i've been at the bottom of of the chain of like you know the economics and everything and i chose to not go out here and you know rob people kill people and stuff like that kill my neighbors i didn't i didn't i didn't i didn't choose that for myself i i, I wanted to figure out a different way to do that i wanted to figure out a different way to spread positivity and and, and 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 build my family up at the same time not just wealth i'm talking about mental wealth which a lot of people don't understand understand and I'm not saying I'm not and I don't get on these videos to pose as a, a know-it-all you know we in this shit together you know I, f I fuck up sometimes in my videos and I can misinterpret things too just like everybody else but one thing I can tell you for sure is we in this thing together and we correct each other we move together we grow together and we're, we're tapping into a different type of energy that we're all gonna be able to benefit from. It's not just about me, it's about all of us. Me showing y'all the example of how to build a foundation for the things you want is one of the biggest things I can possibly do. And in the future, y'all y'all are gonna see me build something. I'm, I'm working on it right now. I just can't show y'all right now. I'm working on it and y'all gonna see me build an empire. Y'all gonna see me build a tribe. Y'all gonna see me build a safe haven for like-minded people. And we're going to blow the roof off of this thing, y'all. Y'all just have to understand that. There's big things coming for all of us. So if you haven't, followed my vlog channel too because I'm dropping dual content this year. I haven't dropped a video on my vlog channel this year, but it's going to be a lot of content coming. You know? But look, I, I had a definite family and it kind of, I had to sit back for a little bit, man. It kind of, it kind of hurt me a little bit. Not a little bit, a lot. <laughs> you know, I be trying to play it off. It, it, it fucked me up, man. That's something that I wasn't uh, expecting, but it's something that I accept because it's going to happen and we got to kind of, we got to be mentally strong for us and our families. And I got to keep my foot on this gas because one thing I think a regret for me is, and that's why I go so hard about things. My, my, my grandmother, she died and she never got to see me 
at my max potential. She never got to see the world the way that I wanted her to see the world. And she passed before I was able to even give her that opportunity. And I wanted that, I wanted that lady to see the world. I wanted her to see a lot better things in life because she never really had them. But that's another reason why I do the things that I do because I want everybody around me to just have the best life they can possibly have. I'm living the best life I can have because I'm doing something that I love to do. And that's why I get kind of like, you know, frustrated sometimes when I see people copy me exactly. Same fucking thumbnails, videos that don't make sense. They're not, they're just trying to do them to get views so they can get money. Money is cool. I make a lot of money with trading. I don't even need to be on YouTube to be real with y'all. You can make more money in trading. <laughs> For real. And you'll see on my other channel. But look, I love y'all, man. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video right here, man. Y'all go ahead, share these videos with your friends and your family. But look, I'll see you on the next video. Like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. See you on the next video. And I'm out, though. Bye.